Subconscious, we have quite a few questions that we have for you today. Um, Angela was wondering, what is the cause of the recent extreme high numbers of COVID in the US when it appears to be for no obvious reason? So much. So much fear. Just causing the virus to gain momentum, not for the virus sake, but because of the fear. And the government. The government is working with. The government is working with the they are not they are not being honest about the numbers to drive up more fear. Numbers are fabricated. Thank you. If she had a question about fear and how it has become a thing in society, why is why do we have so much fear in humanity? Fear stops. Fear stops people from achieving their dreams. Fear has a role to play to. Allow the show to go on. Here is an essential element to our school. Fear is, fear is so important here. It is. It is like walking around with an umbrella. Here is the umbrella. It just covers everything. Some people have heavy umbrellas and some people have... Everyone carries an umbrella. Very few are able to carry their umbrella of fear with them. Like an energetic bubble around everybody. It's the 
condition to come here. It's the moon most. Is the condition, it is a condition we've agreed to, to come here? Yeah. And we carry this with us. Mm -hmm. And what are we supposed to learn from fear? Look of coming and recognizing your Recognizing you don't have to hold it. You can drop it by. You can release it. If so many are so used to carrying it that they feel fear feels like a safe bubble. And to pop that. Pop that fear bubble. Pop that fear bubble. Many forget that they can do this. <laughs> how how would you recommend us uh, approaching to pop that fear bubble? It takes a moment, a second. To get the, to do it. It's a, um, you cross, it's like crossing a threshold. And it's so difficult. And it's right there. And it's in front of you every day. You can just decide, but you cannot decide. Because you don't know what it means. Can you give us an example of what um, Angela has in her life that she's afraid of and can you give her um, your advice of how she should approach it and release it? She is ego works with fear. She is afraid of Not being good enough. And so She can. She can get over that fear. Bye. Paying attention to the events of love in her life where she is shown she is. Loved exactly as she is. No need to change. Beautiful. And I get a sense, as we were speaking before, she is definitely worthy and good enough. And she's special and perfect just how she is. Absolutely. <laughs> Do you think she's going to be able to release that fear easier now, subconscious? Yes, we think she is every day making improvements. Every day. That's amazing. How wonderful. That's brilliant. Thank you so much. I'm so pleased to hear that for her. Um, she was wondering how is fear used to control us? So,
Okay, no. We come with a small bubble of fear. And they know they can make that bubble thicker. And they lay the fear on in so many layers and every day, every aspect of life, there is some level of fear. And it just makes the bubble thicker and thicker and thicker. And so, it will become so thick that in some sense, people just give up and say, I can't do that. Because I can't, there's no way I could get through that thick layer of all of this. So it's overwhelm everyone. Overwhelm, overwhelm in all aspects. Have a fear in every aspect of your life, every interaction. Paralyze people with this overwhelming. Where do you start? How do you begin? How can you begin to start? Chipping away at this thick layer of fear. And that is how they control. They control by adding layers constantly, painting on new layers every day. That's how. That's how they control. She was wondering who invented fear. Fear was a, an aspect of reality here. Never meant be used in the manner in which it's being used. It's never the intention. The original intent of fear was part of the original plan for Earth School. And so it was built into the experience for learning that it was never intended to be used as a tool for the detriment of humanity. Was it designed for us to experience to keep us safe from predators? No, it was a tool designed for learning how to overcome fear, how to overcome, how to overcome our problems here. It was a tool, it was supposed to be a tool to help us facilitate our survival in problem solving. It was never intended to, it was meant to propel us toward problem solving, but it was not, that fear was not the kind of fear that we have now. It's nothing compared to what is now. It's not the same level. It's not like comparing two totally different things. But it came from it came from the original plan.
And then that's why it's here. That's what it has been changed. The way it has mutated. Here in its original form has been mutated to where it is today. Okay. And can you explain to us, please, why people are so comfortable to live in that state of fear? People are asleep. They are not even aware that their actions are based in fear because they have become so normalized. And that is why. She has a qu another question about why would they rather, why would people who are asleep rather sit in fear behind their masks rather than question the validity of the scare tactics? They don't view these as scare tactics. They view not, they don't see fear has become so normalized that they don't even see fear for what it is in their everyday life. They just think of it as life. And so when they are wearing masks, so many think not of they don't associate it with fear for they wear masks to protect themselves, but not they don't view themselves as fearful as much as they they are afraid but they are not their actions are not thank you does make lots of sense um, that they wouldn't be even aware that they're <laughs> in that state of fear. So it's very interesting. Thank you. Um, she also is wondering, um, is it really so important for people to meditate and still be connected with their spirit guides? Your guides are with you and communicating with you every minute of every day, regardless of whether you are meditating or whatever it is that you are doing. The We want to connect and have a more an awareness of your guides, then yes, we need to. depending on what your development is. You need to take the time. And yeah. 
subconscious, are you able to let us know how she can connect and with her guides the most and how she can meditate? What's the appropriate best way for her to do that? She needs to She needs to breathe. She simply needs to breathe. She needs to bring her spirit in. And that is how is the best way. Just to be still and not to do nothing but breathe. And not to read or meditate, but just to be and breathe. And with the intention. As you know, subconscious, she likes to move around a lot. And it doesn't make sense to her to be able to <laughs> sit down and breathe and take the time out that she needs. She wants to just connect with you guys uh, without what she may think is a lot of time with meditation. She is connecting all the time, but then she will not know it. She will need to connect. If she wants to go a deeper knowing of us, she must take the time. And we are connecting with her all, all day, every day, throughout the day. But she cannot recognize this because she is in, she is not feeling. She is out. She is not. This is subtle energy. It's subtle, subtle energy and subtle things that are being given to her. And until she can be in the moment, she's missing these things. She needs to be being mindful, being mindful, being mindful and paying attention. When you are mindful and paying attention is when you will see more and connect more. And when you are breathing, you can be mindful. And that is the easiest way to connect. Thank you. It's really beautiful. Is there a special place or a feeling that you can provide for her now to let her know? Can you exaggerate it for her so she gets the sense of the location in her body that you connect with her? Yes. And where is that? You can look with her at her heart. Thank you. Beautiful. Can you strengthen her heart portal so it kind of overrides the mind um, and so she can live more through her heart than with her overthinking? Yes, we can do that. Thank you. How will she notice approaching life that way? She will be more calm and able to respond from a loving heart before her mind takes over and jumps too quickly, she will be more calm and centered and more level in her responses to people. And she will have more of a compassion in her. She always as she has been breathing in love, breathing out compassion, but then she misses compassion, so she will have more compassion, which is what she's been attempting to do. But it is hard. 
that she has so much programming overcome to overcome. So she will feel more compassion. Breathing and love and breathing out compassion sounds like something I also want to explore. So that sounds fantastic. Thank you so much. It was really helpful. So wonderful. Thank you so much, Subconscious. Subconscious, is she really curious to know more about elephants? What does she want to know about them? The matriarchy. Uh, elephants are such strong matriarchal community. She is fascinated by the strength of the woman, the female, the mother, the grandmother, the divine feminine energy of the elephant. How can a being? How can a being so large be so gentle? She is fascinated by the gentle care that the elephants show their young. The elephants have a lot to teach us. In the gentle ways, you can be strong and fierce. And gentle, you can be large and gentle, you can be wise and yet gentle. She is drawn to the gentleness as of her, an aspect of herself that she wishes to further explore. And so she should observe the gentle nature, the curiosity of the feminine groups of elephants. Yes, there are, of course, the large males, but the divine nature. That is beautiful. And why does she have such a connection with the elephants? in the care of these beautiful she has cared for them and they we did care for them. She was a, I don't know her name. The care that they can spend their entire lives in caring for the elephants. And they sleep beside them. And they She was a care for elephants. Thank you. 
Thank you, subconscious, for letting us know that. Is there any um, anything from that lifetime that is affecting her in this lifetime? She, when she was a carer, she knew the elephants needed to be free. She knew they were being imprisoned against their will, no matter how much you care for and love. An animal, even like an elephant, if they are meant to not, if they are meant to roam and cover vast territories with small bands and groups, how can they be asked to live in one very small place? She has the same. Feelings about animals in captivity. And that is why animals, the elephant is a symbol of. Activity. Thank you. That's very really interesting. Can we send love and acknowledgement to all of the animals she has helped in this lifetime and all the other lifetimes? Can we actually send that love to everyone she's ever met in this lifetime and all the other lifetimes. May they profoundly feel love uh, from us and may they feel love to themselves. May they release anything that no longer serves them. And may they have the healing that they need to help them move forward in life. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, will elephants be going to the new earth? Yes. Is there animals that will not be going to the new earth? Are you able to show her an animal that's not going to the new earth, a type of animal? Some of them will be. Some of them will be staying. Which one? Some are still. 
some collectives are still deciding. They are not all completely. Some have not decided. Some have, some are still deciding. It is not a complete, it is not complete. This work is not complete. This is not something that we know that we can share. This, this is not something that we can share with. No, we cannot share all of this. These things are, things are still spinning in spinning. Thank you. I appreciate um, letting us know that. Um, she is curious to know about how dogs feel um, about being on leashes. Dogs are, dogs are, dogs agreed. Dogs did agree. They did agree. They agreed before they came. They knew this was part of their, their job. They knew it was part of what they would be asked to do. And they, actually, they don't mind. They don't mind because they are full of love. They're full of love. Ooh. They are full of love and so they don't care because they love their owners. And they think it's fun. And everything is fun when you're a dog. You can just go places. Leashes are fun for most dogs. Most dogs love leashes because they get to go do more fun things. And so they don't look at a leash as a problem. They, they love them. They love a leash. <laughs> they do that as their freedom. They get to go out. They get to be free. They get to see other people and other things and sniff. <laughs> Thank you. She wants to know if they have energetic responsibilities for their families. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. they, they bring happiness and love. Their energy, their energy is love. For us, there is their job. Love and love can be protection. They love and they love by their energy is to love and to to help everyone feel secure secure and protected. And that is the energy they bring. Love. Mostly love. Almost all love. That's the energy. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much. She's also curious subconscious about what roles dreams play when they seem to have the recurring dream themes. Oh, yeah. These are many different, there are many different reasons for why a recurring dream state may appear. Um, some of the reasons is because the person, the person is working through a problem and they need to rehearse. They need to rehearse the 
Nelson Memorials in Arena. Go to Wild Spin 2. Without bringing it into into life, into their life. And the dreams she is talking about is that she is she, there are some fear scenarios that she has. But rather than enact them in her current life, she works through these in her dream state. And she can release these scenarios by and she can the intention to learn the lesson and move forward. Of course, there are other types of dream states, but this is the dream state she is referring to. She can set the intention that she is going to choose her wonderful learn what she needs to learn in this in that night. And so she will be able to move forward. When she asks to no longer have the dream. It does not help because it's a stage for the dream to happen again. Thank you. It didn't seem like she was really wanting to know about um, those recurring dreams. So thank you for explaining it to her. And she's curious about the white zombie minks that were mass murdered in Denmark because supposedly they had COVID. Are you able to tell us what's happening there, subconscious? They were done. Let's go back up and uh, we'll collectively do decided. We, we decided. They decided to agree. And so it was not. It is their choice, this industry. It was a choice to bring the horrors, the horrors of the industry to light. People had no idea. So many millions of animals are killed just so that they can be used as a luxury item. And so this group decided to leave them out and it was the convenient taxi to say they had COVID. They did this so that they could leave it in a group. And it was shocking. And it will get the attention to wake up in our community 
to the prime. Okay, it seems the net is good to be prime now. Thank you, subconscious, for letting us know there. Have they gone to New Earth or have they gone somewhere else now? They are. They are happy. They are running around. Yes. They are. They are there. There they are. They're there. They are there. They are there. They are so happy. They are free and they are happy. And they have so many of them are there. And some are, some have chosen to go other. Some have chosen to go to other places. But so many have also gone to Newport. Yes, too many. They all have their they, they are different places. Went to different places and scattered. <laughs> Thank you so much, subconscious. I really appreciate that. Um, and is there any other information you want her to know about her shift to the new earth that she hasn't been told before in other sessions? She is always worried. She's, she's always worried. She is worried. She's worried that she is going to be left behind. She will not be, she will not be who she needs to just yet. And the day will come soon when she just needs to relax and have fun. And she will As we, as we have told her, she already knows. She knows. She already knows. We told her. So nothing new. <laughs> Thank you so much. And subconscious, she was wondering why in her first session um, she had that beautiful singing sort of subconscious response. Um, what can you tell us about that, um, that being? Yes. Yes, yes, we are here. Oh, we are here because she feels more comfortable with us. Earlier, she was doubting herself and she was thinking, oh my gosh. I'm a fraud, what am I doing? And now we decided to come. So because there's no way, no way she would. She knows that we are not her and her. And so that's why we are we are the all. We are the aspect of her who wants to do some more. That's why we came. I love that. And I must, did you say what type of being you are? 
Okay, so I didn't quite get the name, but that doesn't matter. I didn't, I wasn't looking for personal names. I was more sort of wondering about some type of understanding of the beings you are, or are you just happy to be here? <laughs> Okay, well, thank you very much, everyone, for helping us today with these questions. It's been really insightful. And we just have one more question before we finish. And we were wondering um, what the role of the ego is. The ego. The ego is the like the front door of the human mind. The ego's job is to facilitate the take the world to take the world in and make sense of it in a way that the mind can process and also to follow the rules of the world and also to provide a personality to provide a personality the ego is an aspect of the personality which brings with it all of all kinds of aspects that the higher soul wants to explore. It's a vehicle to explore different aspects of life. The personality has some challenges. It's a, it's like wearing an outfit. In some aspects of the outfit you enjoy, and some aspects you wish you could change, and some aspects you don't like and cannot change. Your personality is part of your ego and your ego is a vehicle for learning that is why it is so important that you can take your ego with you your ego is a an earth school outfit
Um, can you take your ego with you to the new earth? Mm. No, no, you do not. You do not take your ego. You don't take your earth, earth ego with you. You take your aspects of your you take it's just not the same it's not the same it's hard to describe what you take but there are aspects of your earth school ego that stay on earth but do not go with you to earth it's two different types of it's not the same. You don't take the same exact ego with you. You just don't take it with you. But there is a, you still retain your individuality on earth and people will know you from your personality, but not, 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 not this earth ego that you know now. It's different. It's different. It's difficult to explain. It's not so simple to just say yes or no to this question. Does that help? Yes, it's perfect. It, is, it does help. It does. It does. It does. Thank you so much. And so therefore, I want to ask, can we take our consciousness to new earth? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Is there any change or is it exactly the same? In fact, the, yes, yes, you, there are some pieces that feel like your consciousness, but they are not. They are like layovers, they are like screens that cover your consciousness. Those will not be coming. But the pure consciousness will be coming. Hmm. Ah, yes, it will be our consciousness, but all of our more consciousness as the veil and the layers um, get taken off, right? Yes, like, there, there's like a screen. These screens are on your consciousness now. And those will be released. You'll be free. Your consciousness will be free. It's different and almost naked compared to the consciousness you have now. <laughs> <laughs> almost naked. So <laughs> what are we going to do with almost nakedness on the new earth? That's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so much for connecting it was beautiful